First, though, we're making breakfast this morning in the Fox 9 kitchen. Doesn't that sound good? The chef from Grandview Lodge is making bananas foster French toast out mm, That sounds that delish, does. Tom. Does. Valentine's Day only a few weeks away, and what's more romantic, I ask you, than making your significant other breakfast in bed? She would faint. Uh, <laughs> this morning, <laughs> we're combining two favorites into one with the help of uh, Grandview Lodge in Niswa. Love that area up by Brainerd. Uh, Executive Chef Mike Manders joins us in the kitchen to make, listen to this, Bananas Foster French Toast. Oh, that, that sounds pretty good there, Mike. Yep, yep. that sounds really good. Um, yeah, it's, it is a nice variation of a traditional French toast dish. Right. Um, what we're going to start off with here is our basic French toast batter. Mm -hmm. And so you've got some egg yolk and that type egg, of thing? Yep, eggs, a little milk, and um, some spices in there, uh -huh. a little cinnamon, nutmeg. And I also put a little bit of salt in this to play off of the the salt or the sweetness of the rolls. Okay. Because we don't want to be too sweet. Oh, so we're not using bread. We're well, we're a bread of sorts, but we're using cinnamon we are. rolls. Yes, we're using cinnamon rolls, which I've trimmed up. And this is a great way to utilize rolls that you have laying around. If you have some extra rolls, you mm -hmm. can pop them in the freezer and. We can go ahead and use those yeah. when you have guests come. Do you, do you not want them to be fresh? I mean, do you want them to be a you can use touch stale? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You can use fresh if you don't have it. This is just a unique way to utilize rolls that you've had, yeah. or you can use fresh, either right. one. Either way, okay. And so, you got a little butter in the pan. What, yep. what, what's the heat we're cooking it over? I always um, mess that up. Yeah, well, you start out with about a medium heat on that, and you don't want to burn the butter. Right. Um, basically, when you cook French toast or pancakes, it's a similar thing. You just want to turn it once. Mm -hmm. So we're going to put them in there, and we're going to let that start cooking. We might be a little bit low here. We'll turn it up a little bit. Have to get used to the stove here. Yeah, right. So we're going to turn that up a hair. Boy, that smells so good. And the, uh, the, the Foster's part is coming. The, the Foster's uh, yeah. part is coming. Uh, basically, what we're going to do is we're going to make a simple caramel. Um, and we're going to throw them bananas in there. Mm -hmm. um, the, the recipe for the Fosters, uh, we're going to leave out the rum. Uh, we are adding a little banana liqueur, which is a little oh, less okay. alcohol mm -hmm. in it. Mm -hmm. um, if we were going to do traditional, we would flash it with rum and fire it, and then it'd be ready to go on to a nice bowl of ice cream or it whatever is, we want. It is answer. breakfast after all. It you is. Know, it is. Let's pace ourselves. Yeah. So let's take a look here. You got some nice browning going on, then that's what you're looking for. I don't know if we can see that. Yep, we've got the overhead camera right there. It looks yep. great. Just like that. Mm -hmm. We're going to put that off to the side, and then we're going to get started on our sauce. So basically, for the sauce, what we're going to do is we're going to start out with some brown sugar mm -hmm. and a little bit of butter here. We're going to melt this butter. Very, very easy to do here. Right. And we're using it. Will we? Put walnuts in there? Is that what we have? Uh, we're going to garnish with a little bit of pecans. Pecans, okay. Yep, pecans and whipped cream. Yum. All right. Okay, and we've got about a minute left here, so okay, we'll, we'll get cooking. Get her going yeah. here. And here, I guess this is probably our banana liqueur. That, we're that is. Make. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yep. So we can go ahead and start adding some of the brown sugar to yeah. this. And this is enough to make uh, how many... Uh, Actually, about here. six pieces. Six pieces, okay. Mm -hmm. Perfect for mom, perfect for dad, perfect. The kids can enjoy it, too. Yep. Okay, what you're going to start seeing is you're going to start seeing that caramel come together. And we got about 30 seconds. Oh, no, I we're going to run low. I know it. Okay. If you'd like to show off the dish on the front, yeah. that's what we, we can definitely do that. I pre-plated one. Look at that. But as we see the caramel starting to come together here, we're just going to add our bananas and our mm -hmm. liqueur and away you go that's the sauce excellent and so it looks like you cut your bananas a little fancier than we i did. probably would do it yep. at more of a uh like a 28 degree angle something like that yep very nice okay there we go now we're ready to add the bananas mm -hmm. we're gonna pop those in there it's the caramelizing that's what oh that's what i love about bananas foster and in this case our french toast bananas foster. exactly and you're just gonna let, let those cook until they start to soften Boy, that looks so good. And, and look it, at the finished product. Look at that. If you bring it in on a tray like that for mom or dad, they'll love you forever. If you'd like the recipe for Bananas Foster French Toast, it's on our website. Just go to myfox9.com, click on the Morning Show tab, then on 
in the kitchen. Thanks for bringing us this great uh, dish from the Grandview Lodge. In well, thank you, thank you so much. Thank we you. appreciate it. Yep. All right. Yep. Uh